Peggy 3. With every new release, we don't just try to make Football Manager more true to life, we also go to great lengths to make it as user-friendly as possible. For FM13, we've made quite a few changes in this area, so many in fact that we won't be able to cover them in a single video blog. A key development is that the adaptive layout feature we added last year has been introduced to many more areas within the game. We've also expanded the number of custom sub-panels that are available for managers to use. The adaptive layout feature has also been added to the player profile section, the competition profile panel, the tactics overview, backroom advice, and even training. We've also made improvements to the game's calendar function. The calendar bar is now accessed using a button on the menu bar and, once opened, all date blocks are automatically maximised, allowing you to clearly see your upcoming matches, arrange friendlies and rest players. For those who like to deeply analyse their team's performance, we've introduced a new feature that shows exactly when and how goals are scored and conceded. We've broken down the 90 minutes of action into six 15-minute blocks so you can clearly see how you perform during specific periods and can adjust your tactics accordingly. This information can be accessed for as few as the last five matches or as many as the last 50. You can also define which competition you want to see the data for. Managers can also analyse the type of goals their teams score, whether they mainly come from play shots, powerful shots, free kicks, headers and so on, which can help inform your tactics and show where you need to make improvements. There's also a handy graphic showing where your assists come from too. As you can dictate what role each player has in your team, it made sense for us to introduce a way of scouting players based on those specific roles. Where before you need to scout players for roles based on their attributes, to make your job easier as a manager, you can now tell them exactly what sort of player you're after, whether it be a box-to-box -box midfielder or a deep-lying centre-forward. You can also easily check which roles a player is best suited for from the position panels on their profile, which details the best roles per position. With Football Manager, we allow managers to be as involved with as many aspects of their team as they want, or as little. So now, when you go to the Team Policy section, you'll see all the different areas you can ask your backroom staff to look after. For example, the newly created Director of Football can look after the areas including hiring and firing your staff, buying and selling players, contract renewals, youth development, managing your scouts and even your team selection. Those are just a few of the key user interface improvements we've made for Football Manager 2013. We'll take a look at a few more in our next video blog, but you'll also notice many, many more when you come to play the game for yourself.